band, which is known as the wifey meta. The cutthroat game of Best Girl is a constantly changing landscape with new additions continually being added which affect the overall ecosystem, changing the effectiveness of everything we previously talked about. An understanding of this landscape rapidly improves a wifey's standing in the current meta and can increase or decrease their viability for Best Girl in any given situation. For instance, someone like Amelia was quite strong in release, having pretty solid base stats in every category that made her a popular pick, but pretty soon after she just got completely hard counted by Rem, giving her a lot by default, where she hasn't been able to recover ever since. Something similar happened recently between Zero Two and Ichika from Darling in the Frank, but well, that was more the result of a high tier waifu being called out for a 1v1 by someone who is clearly still trying to climb out of bronze. The effects of the waifu meta are so severe that there have been time periods where nonsensical picks such as Dio Brando and Kaiki have been viable for best girl, even if science has never even classified them as waifu. It is also able to counteract the importance of previously discussed factors. This close ability is less of a factor if a waifu is the first to popularize a certain trend, but a single imbalanced waifu is also able to start the revival of an old meta, as we just saw last year with Staggery bringing the resurgence of the Emoto meta we hadn't seen since 2013, which absolutely nobody wanted but we ended up appreciating anyway. Even someone as old as Asuka can remain relevant thanks to her constant reworks. If this is confusing to you then I recommend sticking to the comfort of picks that have stood the test of time and have remained viable in almost every meta. For example, someone like Rin will always remain a strong pick as she's in the Sindano class which will pretty much always be viable. But it's just her very high synergy with her skin tail and thigh high build, plus having one of the best blush skills in anime when close match. The only thing she has going against her is when Saber is counterpicked and even then it comes down to an easy skill matchup. In conclusion, the science behind waifus and their ability to become best girl is a complicated field, and science is still a ways away from being able to find the ultimate best girl. While we can rationalize a lot of the power through depth determiner, disposability, spot factor, and the drive coefficient, through the power of the waifu meta and pretty much anything being able to be turned into a waifu, whether it be through anthropomorphization or just putting a blush effect on something, further research is required. But from what we have discussed today, I can conclude only one thing for certain. Give an anime fan any object and they will find a way to want to stick their dick in it. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much this month to K Must Live, Basil, Patrick Madsen, Vincent Mooney, Lao Kim, and everyone else on Patreon for helping to support me for this month and making this video possible. Not too many updates today, just repeating the fact that I will be at MCM London next weekend. So if you're about on either the Friday or Saturday and see me walking around, feel free to come say hi. Keep an eye out for my Twitter at GigarKZ for any updates and just in case I have enough time to sort out a small meetup or something like that. Anyway, that's it from me. I've been Gigug, and I will see you all next time. I, I wanted to trip there. Ah! You have a giant sock puppet roaming around your halls and a murderer. Running is your biggest concern. I, hey, Chris, do you know if the ad is like secret endings here reveal what those items do or how they matter at all whatsoever? Are you sure? I mean, okay, don't give it away. Don't give it. Don't give it away. So, have people been able to beat this? Well, presumably, if you know that there is a beat that there, presumably people have been able to beat this. I'm so annoyed with this game that the jackets come off. It must be like. Really? What's the, what's the best score in endless mode that clearly I'll be able to beat?
There's no way. It there's so no fast. way that anyone was able to do it. it like so he fast. caught up to us instantaneously. You have to start using the items immediately. I think it. I think you have to start using the items like all what? all throughout. Because if you can blow them back with some soda after like three, then you can probably do it. But really, most people just give up. <laughs> really? Oh, great. Well, that bodes well for us. It's oh, yeah. gonna be. It's gonna be this, and it's gonna be. Uh, and it's gonna be the new snap custom night. Oh, custom night! No one's ever gonna be. We're just gonna. Yeah, we're custom all night, gonna everyone's just gonna be read. really well, angry. Like, custom night's one of those ones that I think will last a while. Oh, great. Well, it's cool for that. That's great. That's cool. This is never happening. This game, we are never beating this game. Period. End of story. Yeah. Sadly. So upset at this game. Ugh. Well, Come on. Look who it is. Give me a kiss. Mm. Baldy. Oh man, you're starting to go around the bed with this. I need, one. I need my diet coke. Some silly toy diet coke. It's okay. So there's Come nothing on because you get fifty. People are like, you'll never make it. Yeah, this is never. Great. Happen. Here. I'm gonna do a couple more facial rubs, I guess. Kazarian, I don't think Markiplier did. Did Markiplier survive a long time or something with this? Again, not playing live. Remember, other people can edit. Other this people, is live. Other people can also have other people play for them. What? Whoa, shot fired. Just saying, I can see a lot when you work on YouTube. And, Whoa. And, and you can do a lot with the power of editing. That's I'm not saying that Mark Larry necessarily no, does that, no. but I am saying that I know people who do do that. Ooh. So, so that's look, why that's guess why what? a lot of those Twitch streamers actually have cameras on their hands as well, so that you can see that it's their hands or that it's like that their that their button presses correspond to the games they're playing. Because actually, so but guess what? Again, like this live stream, I could we could fake it. We could fake us play if, Ooh, if we wanted if we to. If really try, then we'd have to try really hard. It would be, hard. It would be so easy, Steph. I don't Look, think it would be I would that sit easy. here, I would lean forward as I am right now. Okay. You know, oh, look at me, I'm using the keyboard. And, uh, and you know I know this is not happening because we're failing so hard at this Yeah, time. like, here's the thing. <laughs> if, if I, and also because it's like, why? Why would I bother lying to you guys? That, it's so stupid. <laughs> but, it, but it is, it's one of those things that I know people who will actively you know, create stuff that makes them look better. Oh, you have to care a lot about this kind of thing. Because <laughs> it, it is like, it's like, oh, they're such a good gamer or whatever. Like, for me, I take pride in being able to see a game and perform pretty well. Like, that, I call it slightly. Like, that's, like, the thing I call the most interesting. But, like, but if I were to fake this, if I really wanted to fake this, all I would need to do is I would just, like, like I said, I would lean forward, and I would just react to what I'm seeing on stream. Like, people do it all the time. Like, I react to my own let's play of whatever. That's true. Like, say I was a Fortniter, and I didn't want to play Fortnite all the time, because I'm sick of playing Fortnite or whatever. I could I could just, like, here's a bunch of gameplay I recorded, and then I could react to it after oh, the fact. Oh, man. And it's easy. Like, that's the thing that people always forget, is that everything's edited. Oh, and so, man. And so you can, like, magic anything. 